me rolling. They hating, patrolling, and trying to catch me riding dirty. Tell me once again why I got on this roof. I chalked that up to bad life choices. It was kind of a challenge. It was sort of looking at this dead genre, the cop buddy film, and seeing if we can breathe any kind of life into it. Trying to catch me riding dirty. Trying to catch me riding dirty. I dropped my gun. Yeah, good. I dropped my good. gun. I'm supposed to go to the left. We're we'll have to do it again. No, I'm not doing this anymore with you. I just had fear of doing a comedy in general. Now, when I had the opportunity to work with these guys in particular, I embraced it because I thought, well, if you're surrounded by the best, you're going to look like the best. <laughs> Stop humming that song. So there's this, this power vacuum that exists and everyone's kind of uh, vying for who's gonna be that next star team who grab all the, all the headlines and make all the drug busts and, uh, and, and we are kind of thrust into that. We, we, we are the other guys on the force that no one talks about. You're like, get out of the way, man. Wait, are you David or Sean? Yeah, well, it's Sir David Urshon, but I might not bother with you yet. So anyway, a little bit of a rush, gentlemen, if you don't mind. Thank you. Excuse me. I think you're under arrest, okay? What? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you do or say can be used. Um, what's the next part? As a flotation device. As a flotation device. <sighs> Hi. Hi. You must be Terry. I'm sorry I've been hiding, honey, but this dinner was tricky. Oof. Who are you? I'm Dr. Sheila Gamble, his wife. Come on, seriously, who is that? His old lady. Sweetie, it's a workstation. Got it. When you come in here dressed like a hobo, it's distracting. I know you're working. I'm so sorry. <laughs> come on, seriously, come on what? Who is that? Will Feller crossed lines. I'm not gonna lie to you, he crossed lines. You know, I had to talk with his wife, that's for sure, about inappropriate behavior. <laughs> My God, that's so not. <laughs> True, he's so cute. The initial shock of seeing her was, was expected, but then when we went to the table throughout the dinner, I just thought I should never touch my food, I should never take my eyes off of her breast until maybe she tries to get my attention, then I'll just kind of snap out of it for a second and go right back to looking at, at her. She's a doctor. She used to be a dancer for the Knicks. She's a volunteer, she, she's a cook and she takes great care of herself physically and basically she's the perfect wife for Alan. And she does all that to make her man happy and he really never acknowledges any of it. Listen, my little sugar balls, don't get hurt. These are waiting for you when right. you get back home. They are perky and they are firm and they are yours. You're a nice lady. We know, we know. All the gunfights, all the car chases, all the sex we don't want to have with women, but we have to, yeah. all do to what you guys do. And we do it again and again. Hey, hey, hey. If I want to hear you talk, I will shove my arm and work your mouth like a puppet. Yeah. Peace out. Yeah. Real, real characters. Yeah. You stopping me? What? I didn't have to worry about um, being non-threatening in an arrogant way. It's like, it's like no, uh, now you bring it all. You could be arrogant, you could be over the top, and it's all the bravado that you could possibly muster up. All the testosterone you, <laughs> you can possibly muster up. I am a peacock! You gotta let me fly! Pick another bird. Peacocks, they don't fly, Terry. They don't, do they? 